tunaelewana jameni Nairobi tunaelewana Mimi nataka niwahakikishie ndugu zangu watu wa Nairobi hii Nairobi kwa mapenzi ya Mungu inshallah tutabadilisha hii Nairobi tukifanya kazi pamoja na nyinyi Musikue na wasiwasi ya kwamba eti kutaenda hivi eti kutaenda vile mimi nataka niwahakikishie mambo ya uchaguzi na viongozi tulimaliza tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane ile kazi imebaki sasa sio ya vyeo na mamlaka ya viongozi tena ile kazi tuko nayo sasa ni ya wananchi hawa tupange mambo ya wananchi na wauliza viongozi wenzetu msianze kutuuliza mambo ya uchaguzi ya 2027 sasa tunataka kuongea mambo ya hawa wananchi ya leo na kesho na kesho kutwa mpaka ifike siku hiyo tunaelewana jameni mi nauliza nyinyi watu wa korogosho mnataka tuendelee kuongea mambo ya viongozi nani hapo na kiti nani hajapata nani alikosa mimi nataka niwaambie mambo ya uchaguzi na mambo ya viongozi tulimalizana nayo mambo ya saa hii ni mambo ya hawa wananchi ni kweli ama si kweli tunaelewana tunaelewana na mimi nataka niwaambie wale ndugu zetu watulize boli. Eh, watulize boli. Tunaelewana? Na wasituuzie uoga. Sisi sio watu wa kuuziwa uoga. Tunaelewana? Kila mkenya ako na haki katika taifa letu la Kenya. Tunaelewana watu wa Gorogosho na watu wa hapa Ruaraka. Sisi Malengo yetu, mpango yetu ni kuhakikisha kwamba Kenya inaenda mbele. Na mimi nataka niwaambie wale majamaa. Tunaelewana? Niwaambie nisiwaambie. Niwaambie nisiwaambie. Nataka niwaambie wale majamaa. Nyinyi mlikuwa na miaka tano ya mahandshek na mambo yenu. Bei ya unga ikafika shilingi mbili na thelathini saa hii tumeteremusha imefika 180 watupatie nafasi itakuja 140 watupatie nafasi itakuja 120 mimi nataka niwaambie wale majamaa nawaambia wale majamaa walituacha na madeni kibao karibu nchi yetu iteleze ingie mahali ambapo ya kukwama saa hizi tumeanza kupunguza madeni katika budget ya mwaka huu tumepunguza bilioni 500 ya bilioni 300 ya madeni hata wale walikuwa wametufungia katika masoko ya kitaifa katika international financial institutions saa hizi hata interest rate ambayo ilikuwa imefika 17% saa hizi tumeteremusha imefika less than 10% kwa ile soko ya kimataifa mimi nataka niwaambie hawa majamaa si wanajifanya ati wao ndio wa majogoo wa Nairobi. Nairobi gani? Nairobi hii ya mto chafu na takataka na mambo ya machafu kama haya. Mimi nataka niwaambie watupatie nafasi tufakie chafu ya Nairobi, tuondoe takataka na sewage kwa Nairobi River, tuwaonyeshe vile city ya Nairobi inafaa kukaa sio ile city wamezoea ya takataka na chafu na sewage Tunaelewana jameni watupatie nafasi tubadilishe Nairobi mtu wa Nairobi asilipe rent miaka yote mtu wa Nairobi aanze kulipa mortgage baada ya miaka tano awe na nyumba hapa Nairobi That is the city we want Tunaelewana jameni kwa hivyo haya jamaa watulize boli ama mnasemaje Eh Ati, ati wanataka kututisha na maandamano. Watafanya maandamano mpaka watachoka. Kwa sababu tunamwambia atuwezi kukubali. And let me say for the avoidance of doubt that Kenya is going to be a country run on the basis of the rule of law and the constitution 
and all citizens have an equal opportunity and no citizen is greater than the other. As president, I am going to make sure that we avoid and we banish impunity. There is nobody who is going to threaten Kenya with impunity. Everybody must respect the law and this country is going to be governed by the rule of law and we will make sure that everybody obeys the constitution and is and works and respects the rule of law. I want to tell our friends who are used to impunity, who are used to forcing their way, that they will have no way because this is going to be a country based on the rule of law and nobody, let me repeat, nobody, let me say it again, nobody is going to threaten Kenyans. Nobody is going to drive in, uh, this country using impunity. We are going to be governed by the rule of law. Tunaelewana jameni? Tuko pamoja? Tunaelewana?